Yes. Come in. Good afternoon, Jackson. Good afternoon, sir. <clears throat> you, uh, wanted to see me, sir? Yes, yes, I did. Listen, I, I can't find Watson's contract anywhere on file, or his resume, for that matter. So, why not just ask him for his resume? Sure, but why isn't it in the system? Why does it need to be in the system? In case I need to see it. Well, why not just ask for his resume? That's your job. It should be in the system. That's our policy. We need to maintain hiring records of all staff. Well, the resume with which he applied is a little outdated now, so... Fine, but where's his employment contract? Or the application that he filled out? I don't see either of those. He told me he wasn't given a copy. <laughs> Aren't those just formalities, anyway? Formalities? What the hell are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm talking about HR policy! <laughs> well, I'm certainly the expert on that here, aren't I? Where's his contract? Why do you need his contract? To prove that he violated it. To prove that he violated the code of ethics that he signed off on. We might have to fire him. Isn't there another way to resolve the issue? Why can't I fire him? I mean, why would you if you have other options? Did you not follow standard protocol? Uh, what is standard protocol? Did you interview him without a resume? What do you mean by an interview? You didn't even interview him? No. No, maybe maybe I did. I just, I don't know if we're on the same level here. Uh, what do you consider to be an interview? Why, why would you do that? Do what? Why would you interview him without a resume? Why would, why would you not interview him? Why wouldn't you have him sign a contract? Um, sometimes candidates are fast-tracked. Fast-tracked? By who? Uh, in this case, Hanson. Excuse me. In this case? How often are candidates fast-tracked? I don't know. We were just being efficient. Hanson had this friend, and I owed a paper. What? <laughs> no! This is absolutely inexcusable. Obviously, we're gonna have to let you go. <laughs> Excuse me? This is a flagrant violation of our ethics policy, which, unlike Watson, you did sign off on. How is this a violation of our ethics policy? You can't treat personnel turnover as a power trip. You cannot go around hiring people as a favor. Well, I was told he was a fine, upstanding gentleman. You were told. You know what? I was told by you that you selected a candidate based on the comprehensive criteria I provided. We don't even have his resume. Poorly contextualized sarcasm. Like, the memo wasn't enough of a PR nightmare. It turns out we don't even interview the perverts we hire. Listen, you're responsible for this whole mess. We're gonna have to let you go. I'm sorry. You can't fire me. If you think this was a PR nightmare, I have a PR nightmare for you. Hansen is running a dog fighting circuit in our basement. Hansen. Jerry Hansen is host in our basement. He is not. Have you been there lately? Look, isn't it a little too outrageous to be a lie? Out. 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 Out! Anderson, this is Cooper. I need to see Hanson immediately.